Eamon or Carol, your thoughts after defeat to battle this afternoon? Well, I'm disappointed, obviously, but um, I can't be too disappointed. We've got what we deserved. In terms of the side's game management, is that an issue with that game today? Absolutely, I don't think there was any. I don't think there was any. I challenged them at uh, half time about that. I've had this conversation far too many times with this group about respecting the game plan and trusting in it and sticking to it. We clearly got rewarded for doing that early on. For whatever reason, we've all away from it, so I'll find out the reasons why. At 12 0 early in that, that first half, everything seemed to be going right. How come it ended up going away from that, Eamon? Because the, the limited time we do get with, to train with each other, we went away from doing the things that we do practice during that period, quite clearly. So, um, yeah, very easy, easily fixed, but there comes a part there where you have to trust your group, and I do I trust this group to, to get it done and, and trust in what we practice. And we're going away from it far too many times. Um, you know, we had this against York, then against Woodness, and now it happened again today. So, um, like I said to you, I know where we're going wrong, and I'll, I'll find the reasons why that is, and um, I'll do the right thing. Is it even more frustrating and disappointing after what you described as you know one of the best performances and wins of last season, where you're praising that game management? Yeah, but I, I think there's an underlying feeling there that I knew that this could happen. So, um, although I'm disappointed in some elements, I'm not surprised. In that second half, Eamon, it, it looked a little bit sort of helter skelterish. Jordan Bowling had come on for five, ten minutes and then come off, and then Elliot Paposhi had limited game time. Was that down to the closeness of the game and you wanting more impact from your Eben Scurs? Yeah, I just think, you know, Baldy, you know, he's not played for 11 months, came on, did a great job, and then started to tire, so I thought it was right to bring him off. We know that's going to be the journey that he did. I thought he was he was great in what he did. Same with Elliot, I thought he came and brought some real energy, but you know, I just wanted to get some of my senior players out there in, in, during that period of the game. In terms of obviously having to chase the game, the, the last sort of 30 seconds, composure just kind of went out of the window. Would you rather have take a tackle and, and go for the one pointer or, or, or throw it around like they, they tried to do? Yeah, I think me, uh, the lads under 12 team probably would have nailed that bit. In terms of this sort of inconsistency, what, what can you do, Eamon, to try and change it? Because obviously a lot of Bradford fans who've been here, they'll be as frustrated as you have, having witnessed that. Well, clearly my job is to help the group, you know, first and foremost, hold them accountable, which, which I will do. We do that all the time. Um, but then there becomes a time there where you can only do this so many times and then yeah, something needs to change. Is it fair to say there's going to be a, a very thorough review and potentially a lot of changes for next week? Mate, well, changes I don't know because we've got too many bodies out. So, um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be getting some bodies back. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do there. Look, it's easy for me now to go and put the bullet in a lot of people. I've got to help this group and that's what I want to do. That's my job. But they've got to start getting it done now. Michael Lawrence was in the squad but didn't feature. What's up with Michael? I think his hamstring gone there the last training session. And Joe Arundel obviously started but went off very early on. It looked to be a, an ankle injury. Yeah. Do we know if it's severe or...? No, no, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. Obviously the mood in the dressing room is going to be pretty numb, here, and Clearly you care about the players and you want to try and instil consistency into them. How easy or hard is it going to be? Mate, that will that will never change. Like, I love the group and, and what they do, but we, we need to be better. The expectation at this club is, is much higher than that. Um, so look, that's my job to, to help them. Helping them sometimes is being hard on them and, and letting them see it. Look, the pictures won't lie, you know, and they'll know. Um, but like I said, it should probably happen one too many times for me now. So there's one thing seeing it, we've got to see some change. And despite another sort of slow, cold start, you did kind of hit the straps with, with those two tries in quick succession from Zach Fulton. Yeah, doing what we practice. Obviously, we don't practice dropping the ball in the first set, although that's happening far too much now. But I just thought the, the things that I really value about my group are the, the efforts off the ball, um, the way they work, the, the way they turn up for each other, non existent today. If Jordan Lilly's drop goal attempt with three minutes to go goes over, would that have papered over the crap? No, not at all. Is that kind of like how close that game was then today? I just didn't like the, the way we went about the game, if I'm honest with you. The, the, the tries, I thought we stopped some of the transitions, like there's, there's people you know, not even in the picture, and that's not what we're about. That's certainly not what I'm about, that's unacceptable at this point. I'm going to say the frustration for you I mean, must be the fact that you've seen how well this team can play and they, they can be as a group and then you sort of see what happens today. I mean, it's, and as you say, it's happened before. Yeah, that's the challenge. I spoke to him about it in the week. He won't be a top team. Top teams back up the performances and we're not at the minute. Yeah. When you look at the players, you know, you look at that list and you sort of think there's real ability there. Why is it? It, why is this weakness around? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's on us. Maybe we think we're, we're better than we are, um, which is dangerous. 
Batley are a quality group. I said it. I said the same against York. I said the same against Woodness. So uh, who knows? Maybe I'm saying too much. Um, but you know, it's, it's clear when we do is we practice and we value that and we go hard at it. We get some great results. We go and beat what are seen to be top teams, um, and that's not disrespectful to Batley. They're a very good team, but the top teams back it up week in week out, regardless of who they're playing, where they're playing, what time, the conditions. That's what top teams do. Looking at it from the outside, people are looking at the results and think perhaps the players' mentality is they're really up for it when they're playing a, a so-called big team and perhaps a team lower down they think oh we'll we'll beat them. Yeah, possibly. You know, I don't get that vibe during the week. Like our preparation does not change, uh, regardless of who we're playing. Like we understand where we're at at the minute. It's about looking at ourselves and making sure that we're backing up performances. So regardless of who we're playing or, or what we're doing, you know, I, I, I still say see the same sort of mentality in training. Uh, but obviously we need to find the reasons why this is happening because it's happening too much and there's people working here far too hard that's above me, below me, with me um, to be dishing up that.